Hey Capricorn, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 24th through the 30th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like some of you um, had maybe a falling out with someone or there was some sort of separation between you and another person. And I feel like you might be thinking about making some sort of choice here in possibly having a reunion or maybe forgiving someone. Um, definitely going to be um, very emotional for you. I just sense a lot of deep emotional feelings from the situation. I feel like you've been trying to ignore it for some time. You've been trying to not think about it because it was painful. It was, you know, not something that you want to relive. But at the same time, I feel like you're getting a choice here. You're getting some sort of choice um, to either explore the situation again or make peace with it and move on. But I definitely feel like you're still kind of dealing with something that happened in the recent past. With the hermit at the bottom of the deck, I feel like that's saying that you have been taking some time for yourself. Um... As you've been healing through this situation and going through it, uh, you could have maybe not been socializing as much for some time or, you know, maybe some, taking some time away from dating or, you know, seeing people. Because I think that you went through a situation that really kind of just killed your spirit for a little bit. You know, I feel like this uh, made you sad and it made you not want to go out there and be around people because you just couldn't trust or you just couldn't deal with um maybe you just didn't have it in you you didn't have the energy to socialize and to connect but i feel like now that's kind of changing there's something here that has recently happened that has now suddenly changed your perspective either about this person that you were with or just in general the idea of connecting with somebody here so we have the page of wands queen of pentacles three of swords the tower two of pentacles two of cups eight of cups and the five of cups um so right off the bat, um, with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Cups, I feel like someone here walked away or left you feeling abandoned or left you feeling disappointed. Someone here decided to take some time away uh, from another person. And I think it had to do with maybe some sort of third party situation or some sort of betrayal. I feel like something happened here that you were not expecting from somebody that you were close to. And I feel like the best decision that you could make at the time um capricorn was deciding to walk away was deciding to just heal on your own take time and process because i feel like this person did something that you you needed more than just a few days to get over you know this was not an easy situation to deal with but in the recent past i also feel like there was some sort of um moment here with the tower that kind of has now given you a new outlook on the situation because with the page of wands i see this being an open mind uh, you know you have a new perspective you have a new idea something that you want to reconsider or look at again and i think it has to do with something that this person did or maybe some sort of revelation that you have had since then that has now kind of given you this new spark or this new um jolt of energy with regards to connecting with someone here also, um, with the Queen of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, but I also feel like right now you're focusing also on your own, um, you know, success. I feel like you're focusing on your stability. You're focusing on taking care of yourself. You're focusing on being independent. I feel like that more than anything is more important to you. But because I feel like you've done a good job of that so far, you're starting to feel like maybe you're prepared to give this another look. Because um, I think that during that time that there was a separation and, you know, during the time that you walked away from something, you had enough time to look within, focus on yourself, reprioritize yourself. And now you're kind of in this position of being prepared and being, um, you know, independent and self-sufficient. But then we have the two of pentacles with the two of cups. So I almost feel like you're going to give someone a second chance or you're choosing to maybe go out there and start dating again. So maybe you're choosing to forgive someone or you're choosing to say, you know what? Yeah, I went through a painful situation and it took me some time to get through it, but I think I'm ready to go out there and explore. So let's see. Let's clarify the eight of cups.
All right, so we have the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this is confirming that even though that situation was difficult and you had to walk away from someone, I feel like now you're ready to take a chance. You're ready to take some sort of leap of faith towards something. And right after that, we have the Death. So this is saying something ended, something, you know, maybe you thought you were going to be in this energy for longer, but now it's like you're finding yourself saying, okay, maybe I'm ready to go out there again. So um, that's interesting. It's almost like you did a, a 360. We also have the Three of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Six of Cups. So I know that we all hate to think that, you know, Six of Cups is always past energy. I'm not saying it has to be that, but for the circumstances of this reading, you might find yourself having some sort of reunion, um, reconciliation with someone here that you have a history with. I feel like you are maybe also possibly getting out there taking a chance and socializing again and maybe you're you're seeing family and friends that you haven't seen since you decided to break away from someone so there's multiple ways to see that i just see you deciding to you to say you know what let me go out there and see what happens let me just try and you know um have a good time be social see where this goes make connections i feel like you're getting out of that hermit mode because you've finally healed through something difficult here with the five of wands i do sense that maybe there is some tension sometimes um you know maybe you're out with your friends or with family and they ask you about that person that you were with you might find yourself maybe getting into um this energy of you know i really don't want to talk about that right now so you know there could be tension there could be misunderstandings based around this situation but i, I overall i see you having more fun and enjoying your time than thinking about the past all right, let's clarify the Two of Cups. Okay, we got quite a few cards there. So we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be approaching possibly a new person here that's coming towards you. Um, they might be moving a little bit slow or maybe you find them um, in a place that you usually wouldn't meet someone. I don't know, but we also have the Devil here, so you're showing up in your own reading. Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Um, to clarify the Two of Cups, I feel like this King of Pentacles and this Three of Wands, I feel like as you're looking to expand or make some sort of movement, I feel like you might come across someone here that is maybe on the same journey. You might meet someone that, you know, has similar goals, has a similar vision, and you can see yourself kind of learning from this person or... Um, I feel like this person wants to support you or I don't know, I feel like you're going to be meeting someone here that has the right intentions, you know, to get to know you and, and, you know, talk to you and all of that. But I feel like it's kind of as you're making this transition, as you're expanding um, something in your life here, I feel like you're going to cro uh, come across someone that kind of opens up your perspective about what you deserve. Like, I feel like someone here is going to make you realize like, wow, I don't know why I even stressed about that past person because now look at me. There's something about that, like someone kind of validating um, what you already feel about yourself, which is a good thing. And then with the devil and the nine of cups, to me, this is saying that you can do bad all by yourself. You know, this to me is saying this is you showing up in your own reading. And then the nine of cups is saying, I'm satisfied with myself. I'm satisfied with what I've accomplished. I don't need anyone to you know to make myself feel good like i don't i'm not attached to the past i've released all of that i'm over that situation it was difficult but i'm ready to move on to me this is saying that you've found your strength in a difficult situation you've found your power in something painful i feel like this person that you dealt with they thought that that was going to break you down but i feel like it's done the opposite i feel like now you know exactly what your worth is and i feel like every person that you're getting close to now is kind of reminding you of who you used to be before this person kind of changed you so it's really kind of speaking to that transformation that you've made since that painful um time this is really saying you've come this far and now it's starting to show it's starting to um, attract certain people and certain things into your life and i think you're going to be ready to go out there and um, be that person and be you again and not hold back and not be afraid and not, you know, carry that past energy with you because I, I see you just moving forward. Um, and it's almost like no matter what this tower moment is, I don't think it's going to affect you. I don't think it's going to stop you. If anything, it might just prove to you what you already knew or it, it'll validate you in some way because I just see you being in your power at this time, Capricorn, and nothing is going to stop you as you continue to progress and move forward in your life. So.
I really hope you take that all in, and if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.